How's everybody doing out there? This is Pete. We got us a nice, beautiful review we're going to do today. And what that review is, it's about removing rust. Now, we're over here at DIY Auto School, just right there, just like it says. I'm at my desk. You can see that. It's a mess. But we got a lot of stuff to talk about today, and what we're talking about is rust. Rust is something that everybody hates. Everybody gets petrified and, and what do they say, worried and confused and, and stressed out when they see some rust. Rust is not as big a deal as you think it is. You can always cut that rust out and replace that piece of metal. If you look at this thing right here, this piece of sheet metal, you can see all the holes that are cut out. That's for rust repair. That's what I used on rust repair. So rust isn't that bad. But when it comes to surface rust, we got a situation. We want to get rid of this surface rust. We want to make sure that the surface rust is gone for good. And there's products out there that will tell you that they're the best in the world. We don't know that. We don't know if they're the best in the world because we just don't know. And until we actually try the product, then we don't know. Plain and simple. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So I was over at our favorite tool supply store yesterday. Um, we're talking about Harbor Freight. Everybody that watches my channel knows I love Harbor Freight. And if you need warranties or you need to return something, Harbor Freight, no questions asked. Take it back. If you got your receipt, they'll refund it. Some of the stuff that you buy there, you don't need a receipt. You just bring it in and they'll swap you out. So anyway, enough about Harbor Freight. We know that we were there. What we got here, I got some old bolts. Now you look at these bolts here. We're going to throw them out. They're rusty. They're old. These bolts are off of a classic car. What car, we don't know. These are bolts that are off of dozens of cars. I actually have um, a five-gallon bucket full of old classic nuts and bolts, just like this. And when I want to get one, if I'm working, let's say, on a Mustang and I need a bumper bolt to match that Mustang bumper bolt and I don't have it, well, look what I got. I get in my five-gallon bucket of classic bolts and I find it. But we're not going to restore a car and put that back on there. We're not going to do that. Now, one way that you can restore old nuts and bolts is you can actually sandblast them. If you have a small Harbor Freight sandblaster, you can go to that extreme. Or if you got a sandblasting cabinet. Another way that we can clean these, we can use a wire wheel. We can use that on a grinder with a wire wheel. We can sit there meticulously cleaning these out, removing rust, and hopefully they're going to come out right. But you'll always have that surface rust that is always there. A lot of products out there will tell you, throw your parts into this, wait you know, an hour to 12 hours, pull it out, and it's all brand new. I was at Harbor Freight the other day, and guess what I came across? One of those products right there that states one hour to 12 hours, your rusted parts will look brand spanking new, and the rust will be gone. So let's check this product out. We're going to give it a try. We're going to see if it's worth it. This Court, I believe, is this a court? Um, yeah, this is one U.S. court, was $9. Anytime you see a product that is telling you it's biodegradable, 
safe on skin and eyes, reusable, non-toxic, biodegradable. I think I said that twice there. Um, okay, that's in Spanish. I'm sorry. So it's non-toxic, biodegradable, safe on skin and eyes, and it's reusable. And it says super safe rust remover. Normally, that's going to be green. That means that it is EPA certified. Whatever chemicals that were in this before, they have been taken out, cleaned out, and now you buy this stuff. Kind of like um, aircraft stripper. If you buy aircraft stripper, it doesn't have the methanol ethanol in it anymore. You can't strip paint off of an automobile. It just doesn't work. The EPA has came in and said no more methyl ethanol. Forget it. You can sell your stripper, screw people in the ass, rip them off, whatever you want to do. But we're going to get rid of the uh, chemicals that actually make it work, the key components. So I saw this. It said um, $9. I bought it. I read the back of it, and I'm going to go ahead and read the back of this for you right here. And it says, um, Evapo Rust is an amazing rust eliminator product of extensive research. Evapo Rust has been uh, proven effective to remove even deep rust on all types of mild steel and iron. It is safe on all surfaces and will not harm copper, brass, aluminum, plastic, rubber, or vinyl. Evaporust is non-toxic, biodegradable, and contains no acid or alkali. And it says, winner of an R&D magazine, Top 100 Inventions for 2000, and Clean Tech Magazine's Outstanding New Technology of Industrial Cleaning, 2001. Okay, so it says to pre-clean your items if it's got grease and oil on it. That makes a lot of sense. Rinse item and completely immerse item to be de-rusted for 1 to 12 hours, depending on the depth and the age of the rust. Check project periodically, progress periodically. Only rust is removed. Rinse item with water. Okay. It also says here that it is a small gas tank de-rusting formula. Um, completely fill the tank with vapor rust and allow to sit two to four hours. Drain completely and rinse well. Um, larger gas tanks of de-rusting. Pour one gallon of vapor rust and rotate gas tank every hour until, it, until the rust has been removed. So basically I guess you can use this on classic antique gas tanks and motorcycle tanks if it has uh, rust inside it. Evapo rust can be used over and over until performance drops off. That means that once you use this you don't need to throw it away. You can keep using it like carburetor cleaner uh, until it just doesn't work anymore. Um, Evapo rust is safe for use on spray cabinets or for use in spray cabinets, ultrasonic cleaners, pressure washers, pumps, and vats when ready to dispose of, uh, of spent evaporust only the iron contents of the solution will dilute disposable method. In most cases it can be safely put down the drain. And then in caution, if I can read that, it says keep out of reach of children, rinse hands, uh, rinse thoroughly with water, uh, rusty items with edges, uh, will be sharp, uh, be careful, we don't want to cut your hands, blah blah blah. Will I get a black film on some parts after using a vacuum rust? What is it and how do I remove it? The black is carbon from the steel, generally high carbon steel is used in making items that are flexible. High carbon steel and tool alloy steel items, when de-rusted, will have a darker appearance. Much of the carbon can be removed simply by wiping off with a cloth. Alright, here's an important point that we want to make. Um, let's say that we have a quarter panel of cards got surface rust. We can't dip that. So, it's going to say right here, 
It says, how can I use on a surface too large to soak? Soak a paper towel with evapor rust, then place them over the rusted area. Cover with plastic wrap and take the wrap down to prevent moisture from escaping. Remove in 24 hours and rinse the area with water. So they're basically saying how to use it like a lot of people use aircraft stripper. What you'll want to do is you get the surface wet, you take plastic and you wrap it, then you come back. So we just went over our vapo rust. Let's go ahead and try this out. We're going to see what happens. And I got a piece of metal here that's got some rust on it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to actually do this in two, two uh, deals. We're going to cut this piece off here. Let me get this cut. Okay, so we got this piece here, and it is rusted on both sides. So we are actually going to um, dip the cleaner with a paper towel like they suggest, wrap this, we're going to put some plastic on it, and then we're going to come back in 24 hours to check this one. And on these parts right here, we are going to immerse these. Now, these don't have any grease and oil, so we will immerse those in our cleaner, and we will periodically check them and see what happens. Now, I want to show you those one more time. And then I want to show you this. This is pretty, pretty much rusted. Okay. Let me go get some plastic. Let me get a, a, some paper towels. And we're going to begin our journey with the Vapo Rust Super Safe Rust Remover. Right there. Okay, we went and got some paper towels, we got some tape, and most important, we got gloves. I don't care what this says, any type of chemical you should not touch with your hands, even if it says it's okay. So let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to get this out of, here, out of the way, and then we're going to get this all prepped up. And we're basically going to do this just like they say to do it. So we will go ahead and take our plastic, and there's our piece right there. I just don't want to get this on my table, that's all. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. But before we do anything, um, I know it doesn't say shake well, but I'm going to go ahead and give it just a little shake anyway. It doesn't even say shake, but since it is a chemical, we don't know how long it's been sitting, and it can settle. It can have sediments in it that settle. We don't know. So the cap does have an uh, aluminum uh, cap on it, the lid. And as I pour this in, I want you to see this is a yellow color. Kind of reminds me of, um, kind of reminds me of uh, muriatic acid. Now it doesn't have a smell to it. Let me get up close here. I'm gonna. I don't smell anything. There's no smell at all. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to do it just like they say. Um, we'll take our paper towel, just like this. And we'll put this one down here, like that. And we will stick this on here. And then we will take another paper towel. Now remember, I have not sanded this. I have done nothing to this. So we are just going to do exactly what it says to do. And once again, I don't smell. There's no smell at all. Nothing. I don't smell anything. There's no smell. No nothing. So yeah. So we're going to pat that down. Now they said to do that. And then what we will do, we will take our plastic, just like this, and we are going to wrap it in plastic. Now, if you have a car or a quarter panel or a fender or something, um, I'm sure it's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and leave that like that. And then I will tape this right here. 
just like that. It's set to tape the plastic up, so we will tape it up. And then we will leave this sitting on a rag here. I'll wipe that off. Um, we'll go ahead and put a red rag right here. And then we'll set that on that rag. Um, and I kind of do actually smell just a very, very faint smell of a cleaner type solution. Um, I'm going to pour a little bit more in here for our bolts. Now that we took some of that out, we want to make sure that those are submerged very well. And then we will come back periodically and check them and see what's going on with our rust cleaner. Now, I did bring a stick, I thought. Yes, I did, right here. So we can actually kind of move those around a little bit. And it does, I can smell a detergent smell now. A type of a cleaner smell. I can smell, at first I couldn't smell it, but I do smell it now. So we're going to leave this right here just like that. And then hopefully uh, this stuff will work. Um, I can see where this is actually turning to a different color. It's almost turning to a brown. So that's telling me something. Let me put a little bit more in there. There we go. Okay, so we will come back and check all this. Now remember this here has been covered with plastic just like it says. And we will come back and check it. Um, it kind of has the aroma of that stuff PPG used to make um, that you would take a rag, it's a kind of a rust remover, and you wipe it on the panel and then you let it dry. I don't remember the name of it, but that's what it smells like. So we'll be back and hopefully our rust right here, um, Evapo Rust, will possibly do the job for us. We don't know. So what we're going to do is we are going to check our nuts and bolts and see if our rust has disappeared. Um, I still have that smell. I can still smell it. And I'm going to be honest with you, I think it actually worked. I think it actually did. Um, so before we get dip into this, I want to dip in this. This is the most curious part that I am curious about because we did exactly like we, they said to do. Um, I mean, we even went to the extreme of actually taping it off. And it still feels wet under there, to be honest with you. Now, once again, I'm going to tell you, this is like 15 hours later, and it, it still feels wet. And you can even see by looking at it that it's still wet. But you remember this piece of metal that had rust all over it. We're going to take this off. Now I do smell it. I smell uh, the chemical now is releasing and I do smell it. It smells like a type of a cleaner solution type smell. It doesn't give that odor of it's dangerous. Um, Let's go ahead and unwrap this, 
And oh my God, look at this, people. Can you see that? This is the piece of metal that was completely rotted and rusted. And I mean, it's just, um, we must have had some wrinkles in the paper here because you can see where it kind of missed it. But overall, I got to say, this is some amazing rust remover stuff. Once again, it's called Evapo Rust. You can buy that at Harbor Freight. One thing that I did notice, you better be able to penetrate and touch every inch of metal with that stuff because as you can see, <clears throat> if there's a wrinkle in your rag or whatever you're using, it will not touch and the rust will not be removed. But I'm going to say, I, I, I believe in this product. This is uh, amazing. Um, there's that right there. This is that piece that we cut off. So I got an old cup right here. And we're going to go ahead and um, take our nuts and bolts. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour this liquid into this cup here. Just like this. And then what I want to do is I want to go in the kitchen and I want to rinse these out with uh, some nice clean fresh water and then we'll take a look at those. Okay, did I say kitchen or did I say bathroom? Um, I don't remember. Anyway, we're in the sink here and I'm going to go ahead and rinse these off with some water. I'm just going to go ahead and randomly rinse them off. Now they do say that this is a biodegradable product you can see the water how it is changing and they say this is a biodegradable uh, substance that uh, it will not harm um, or pollute our water system once again it does smell like a very familiar product that I have used before and I don't quite know the name of that product but it does resemble a product that I used to buy from PPG that was a rust inhibitor type product that I used. If you look real close in there, you can see the rust deposits um, that uh, the chemical took off of our nuts and bolts. Huh. Okay, let's see what happened to our bolts now. I'm going to go ahead and say it again. Um, these bolts are off old classic cars from the 50s and 60s. So let's go ahead and pour these out. This is uh, the year 2022. And when I say 50s and 60s, I'm talking 1950s and 60s. Once again, I took these bolts randomly out of a five gallon pail that I have that uh, are old classic nut and bolt. Uh, items so let's go ahead and pour these out and we still got we're still talking about our uh, evapo rust and let's see what we got so these are nuts and bolts that we have dipped for 16 hours and um, some of them have actually cleaned up very very nicely some of them have actually cleaned up better than I would have expected so if we randomly go through them, let me get my light on the subject. There we go. That's a little better. Um, this uh, action here really came out nice. Look at that. That one came out beautiful. Uh, this is an old bolt right here. And I would say that that thing came out really, really nice. Uh, this is an old bumper bolt. And it did not tarnish or ruin the chrome plating on that or stainless steel, whatever you want to, whatever that's made of. And when I put this in there, I couldn't uh, turn the nut onto the bolt. But as you can see now, look at this. The nut goes on there perfect. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't um, turn that on there by hand. Let's look at this one here. Looks like it came out okay. Uh, once again, looky here. I can screw the threads on that and this bolt here was semi stuck and the washers came out really nice as well. 
uh, there was some grease and slime on it. And once again, what did they say in the instructions? Remove all the grease and oil. And this has grease on it. And it didn't remove the grease, but it did clean the bolt up. But for the age and the distress that these bolts, uh, I picked this washer out. This was completely full of rust. You can see the thick rust that has gathered underneath this fender bolt, uh, fender washer. This is a fender washer of some sort. And look at it. Okay, that's grease on there. All right, so the grease, it does come off easily. And if I did a little work with my wire wheel, well, let's go ahead and use the wire wheel and see if we can clean that up. Okay, we went ahead and used our wire wheel on it. You saw that it didn't take any effort at all. To clean it and you also see that it's got some serious pitting going on so this was very heavy rust it did not remove the super heavy rust but it did remove a lot of uh, the caked on surface rust one more thing is um, you saw where I removed the grime and the grease and dirt off of that and yeah it does say in there that it does not remove dirt and grease it is only for rust I believe that this product is an okay product and I'm more impressed how it removed the heavy surface rust off of the sheet metal more than I am the nuts and bolts. Um, I will say that I did not clean these nuts and bolts off like the instructions um, said to do. Um, I believe that they did clean most of the rust off of it but to really thoroughly use it for nuts and bolts you must clean all the grease and slime off first. I think it might be better to go ahead and put them in a wire, ca uh, wire basket, throw them in a sandblaster cabinet, and sandblast the nuts and bolts to really clean the nuts and bolts off. Um, I'm not really impressed with the way that it worked on the nuts and bolts. You saw that I had to take the uh, wire wheel to this piece right here. And let's go ahead and randomly take a wire wheel, let's say, to this one. You can still see that there's rust in there, but I believe that that might possibly be dirt and debris as well, not just rust itself. I think that the bolts are a lot cleaner and a lot more usable than before we used this product. Um, so I will give this a 4. I'm going to go ahead and give this a 4.5. Let's go ahead and do 4. 75 on the Richter scale and the reason it's not getting a five uh, one out of five five being the best is due to the fact that uh, I mean it didn't really remove all the rust 100% but it removed it I would say 80% this is Pete my friend Pete your friend Pete uh, taking products from Harbor Freight and seeing if they actually work and I would say this one, it worked. It's called Evaporust. You can buy it over at Harbor Freight. This one bottle costs $9. They say that it's completely usable until it won't be used no more. And it kind of actually did the job we were looking at. My friend Pete, your friend Pete, right here, doing reviews of stuff that you might be interested in using and wasting my money so you can save yours. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.